drew you into PR and how'd you get started? Actually, um, I was telling one of the girls from a nonprofit camp that I worked with asked me this last night. And I was in high school and I remember seeing um, Melrose Place. It was, and they had a, it was an agency of these really cool ladies and they dressed really cool and they did a lot of marketing and PR. And I knew that I wasn't really good at math and science. I was really bad at math. Um, I, needed to, I needed to do something that kind of utilized my English skills. I could always write really well, really good at creative writing or even English. I could write anything and I could make anything sound good, but I knew that I really was not good at any, any major that would require math and science. And so I remember seeing that program and thinking, I'm gonna do that. And then I started researching on um, just entertainment and publicists, actually not even entertainment, just publicity and marketing. At first I just wanted to do marketing and publicity. And then as I researched a little bit more, I remember seeing something that Patty Webster was doing with Usher. And I thought, wow, that's really cool that she's, cause I like to, um, even for my friends in high school, I would say, well, you should say something like this. You know, one of my friends had a crush on a guy, I would say, well, this is what you should say. I was always the one creating the story. So it just was a natural thing. So I knew when I went to college, this is what I wanted to do. And I went to the University of Oklahoma. Um, and I was, a, I was a marketing major at first. And then I realized I liked public relations better. So I switched my major to organizational communication and it had a PR minor and that was the beginning. Wow. And what has led you to work from the entertainment music aspect? I know you do more than that, but what led you in that direction of PR? Actually, that was by accident. Um, when I graduated from college, I, I went to went to work and I thought I was going to find this great job in an agency. I interned for Akron McQueen, which was a really big agency um, back there. And then I went on, I did two internships. I interned for like the newspaper and then I interned for Akron McQueen. And then I thought I was going to, you know, where's the big agency to hire me? And I got some some people that wanted to hire me but it was for a very low salary and it wasn't the job that I thought I was going to do. It was almost like an intern. So I went to work for a customer service company so I could make money and then I went and got an intern on my own. And I found a lady that had a theater company there and I said, well let me um, do PR for you for free. Just give me this title. Because I realized that with PR you really have to have a track record more than your degree. So I was a PR director for Theater North in Tulsa, Oklahoma. That was my first PR job. I didn't get paid, <laughs> but I had a great title. And I, uh, they got more, they sold out for all their plays that year. And the, the lady, I'll never forget, she was an older African-American lady, and she was like, you can do whatever you want to do. I started taking the cast on show, on the road, and it was just, it, it, I was able to get some success under my belt doing that. And I loved it, and, and by, all the while, I was still working my regular job. And then finally, um, I remember I took the group to Barnes & Noble. And one of the guys at Barnes & Noble said, hey, they have a PR position open. And um, I said, I, that's my job. <laughs> and so I applied, and that was my first paid job. I was the community relations manager for Barnes & Noble. And so I went on for there to work for the hospital. So I really didn't do entertainment at all for the first seven years. And then after I moved to Atlanta, I couldn't find a corporate PR job. Because at that point, I had a lot of experience in Corporate PR, I loved it. I always had really great jobs and um, I always had the ability to be creative. And um, I didn't know anything about this end of it until I moved here and I couldn't find another job. And so I went to work for um, a small agency here called Solstice Media Group. Um, the owner's name is Rhonda Baraka. She was amazing. She had worked for LaFace and she was so talented and I was just um, really, really lucky to be able to work for her for about a year and a half. And then um, her direction changed. She decided to go more into film. And then I went on my own and I started Enchanted PR. And that's how I got here. 